Well, he was my grandfather and I was my father's father. He was just in his own mind and he lived for his art and chose very young to not be a family man. I remember him as very big and sometimes a little bit scary when he stood there and said something you couldn't understand. And, uh, but uh, as a teenager, I loved to meet him and we went to visit him very much. And uh, he was just, I thought grandfathers were like that. I remember the smell, he had a special smell, the turpentine from his studio and and everything was, it was not like anything else. It was just his studio and it was all chaos. But of course it wasn't for him and he could move the bed he slept in from the one place window to the other because then the light was different and then he moved everything and and uh, yes and yes and this smell of turpentine always all around him he had very strong connection to nature when he st stood there in the moss and the cliffs and and he was studying the light all the time, always studying the light. And he was same, uh, painting the same motif uh, in the morning, in the evening, in the winter. And he got close up to the ground. And yes, yes, he was nature. I, he, he, when, when I think back and, hear his voice, it is nature, his voice was nature, it's just it taught the Icelandic nature to see the moss, appreciate the Icelandic nature and uh, look at it close up. His paintings, people got a little bit shocked in the beginning because it was suddenly up to your uh, eyes things that they didn't think about as beautiful. Or stones, it's just a stone. But that was something else when he showed it. So yes, that's, that's what he did. My grandfather, that's what he did. I decided to be an artist when I was 11 years old. I got a job in a bank once. I went in the bank on the first day I should work. I went in and went out again. I never came there in. I didn't work there. <laughs> I just got the job. I just thought, no, I'm not able to do that. <laughs> I wanted to be an artist on my per permission, not always this, oh, your carver. Oh, your carval, yes. Your drawings, it is just like carval. It wasn't. It was my drawings. <laughs> if I had uh, been influenced by him as a growing up person, I'd just say, of course I was. It's just, just like being influenced by Icelandic nature. And that's the thing I saw hit from the beginning and I knew his paintings and the way he drew his everything, yes, of course. But I've tried to be myself in my art. Iceland got uh, independent in 1944 and he was always working for the 
Icelandic nation. He was paying back what he had got, and he was, and he loved the nature. He loved uh, being out in the nature, just the birds and the animals, and chose very young to not be a family man with his wife and two children, and they got divorced. And my father was the younger child, and. No, you can't call Karval a family man. It's impossible. And in the end, the nation, they just owned him and, and took him and they didn't give him peace. He didn't have the peace some, some old people should have. It was, yes. He was the grand man.